It's a hard one to describe really, it's just shot a squirrel. I don't think of it as um, anything that I should be celebrating or feeling, I don't know, exhilarated about. Big male. It's a job I know it needs doing, and I know now doing this will benefit the red squirrels. Every grey squirrel down is a positive for, for the reds, definitely. I mean, in everything that you're going to do, there's always going to be people that have the opposite view to you. We'll get called racist, xenophobic, um, all sorts of things like that, crazy things. Why do you think they call you racist and xenophobic? They say that we're racist because we shoot the greys because they're grey, not red. So it's like we're shooting them because of the colour of the fur, which it, it just really isn't. Um, xenophobic because we're promoting a native species, so it's all about British stuff. That's how they say it. That's... Characteristics of a red squirrel completely different to anything I'd seen before. I just fell in love with them. You know, you, we even had them tapping on the window when, when they were after a custard cream or a piece of carrot or, or a monkey nut. In December 2009, we had um, a grey squirrel visit the garden, and within three weeks, I'd lost eight red squirrels to squirrel pox virus disease, which is the disease carried by the grey squirrel. It's, it's just devastating, uh, absolutely devastating. You know, showing people the photographs one thing, but having an, a, one of these animals still alive, dying in your hands through this virus, devastating, devastating. When I'm t taking aim with my rifle, the, the main thing I'm thinking of is the humane aspect of it. You know, one pellet out of this gun is going to humanely dispatch with that grey squirrel. But pulling the trigger is not easy. Not easy. Phil, um, my husband, he skins them. He takes the tail off for the local fishermen um, and we freeze the legs um, in the freezer. This is squirrel meat, um, squirrel curry. I haven't got any squirrel burgers or anything at the moment, but basically that's the frozen squirrel that we, we use. Above all else, it's because I want native red squirrels to be seen for future generations to enjoy. You know, I, I'm lucky, I've, I've enjoyed them and I continue to enjoy them. But I want my grandchildren and I want their children and their children's children to, to see the native red squirrels. I look forward to the day when I don't have a job. You know, when I don't have to shoot any grey squirrels anymore um, because they're all gone and the reds are okay. People ask me that, what will you do if there's no grey squirrels? You won't have a job. But I'll be happy. I'll sit back, crack open a beer and be happy, you know, that sort of thing. Seeing the reds coming back and bouncing back in areas where they've been pushed out. That's what drives me forward, is seeing that species bouncing back and being able to live and thrive because we've given it the chance to.